to protect a country like India is huge. It's a big, big problem. You are surrounded with countries like Pakistan. You know what is going on in Pakistan today. You will have people from different, from different countries coming. That means it's not only the problem of India. It's the problem of the sickness that everyone is going to bring here. And the level is a very tough level to get the best master plan operation activities that we can do a peaceful and safe games. Terrorism today is looking for, is looking to do the 9-11 in New York. 9-11 was in 2001. Today we are 2009. Americans, they are down. Terrible situation. 19 people with a budget that was $120,000, they put the American economy broke and they bring the Americans to fight all over. The enemy is doing today is learning. Of course, it's not going to be the same like Mumbai. You have not the sea here. Don't look for repeating things. Be prepared. But you need to play all the time, all the things, every moment, how to play a car, a plane, not because they are going to eject the plane. They, they go to use a plane like a mass destruction weapon. Intelligence is to know the enemy. The more important is to know the wish of our enemy. And the wish of our enemy, that the Indian enemy and the Israeli enemy is the same enemy, we have the same enemy. We have the fundamentalism, people fighting against us, against Occident. And this enemy is looking to humiliate India. This is what they are looking. Don't go far. What they want to do? They want to humiliate the biggest and the largest democracy in the world. And what they want to do is to try to check and to blow up and to do and to show everyone that you are an easy target. And my friends, you are an easy target. If in India you manage to get a system like Project Griffin up and running, you are start to you begin to actually stop the terrorist attacking at their planning stages. Project Argus is a cousin, a very near cousin of Project uh, Griffin. It is where we take uh, companies, the workers, not just the security industry, which is Project Griffin, but Project Argus takes the workers in companies and tells them what they must do. It actually proposes that they, and, and ensures that, that they take individual responsibility for countering the terrorist threat before the attack, that's the preparation stage, during the attack, and, and recovery from the attack. And it goes through step by step how the workers can actually help the company and the police and the other emergency services to recover from an attack, or hopefully prevent it. And post 9-11, I've noticed a much more increased global interaction. I guess this is an, a manifestation of it. You have a lot of foreign guests here in, your, in, in Delhi, and uh, uh, I think this can, can only be a good thing. And the global interaction is one of those things about how we promote the countering of the terrorist effect, sharing ideas, what are the secrets behind uh, countering the terrorist uh, threat, must, must, must understand each other's business. Police, public sector, private sector, commercial. If we, don't under, if we don't understand how each other works, we are never ever going to roll out together. Involvement at all levels from the top down. Uh, I think that other chart actually explains that. Sharing information because you're starting to trust and have confidence with each other. And then ultimately, believe me, you start increasing resilience because you're sharing information, you're trusting each other, you've got confidence in each other. So when the balloon goes up, you actually roll out together. And that was proved time and time again in tragic situations in the United Kingdom.